Hey everyone, it's Jordan, and today I'm going to be talking about my November TBR. So this is like a new angle that I'm trying to um, test out because uh, my Ray room is going to be turning into the baby's room and we're in the process of trying to get all my bookshelves into our car current bedroom. I know that the we have the futon like right next to me because of we're trying to we're going to get that out and then um, put my bookshelves in here. But for right now, this is the angle I'm doing right now. And plus, if you're wondering why I'm not wearing my rain, wine rain, it's because my hands are a little swollen that I wouldn't be able to wear my wine rain. So in case you're wondering, that's why. But yeah, I'm going to be talking about my November TBR today. And, uh, and also, I'm not going to be drawing... Uh, books from my TBR bucket like I usually do just because um, like I'm taking a break from it for now because the uh, next few months is going to be more difficult for me since I just entered my third trimester so I, I, that's pretty much um, it. I hope you guys don't mind a new angle that I'm testing in the next few months and hopefully I'll get my bookshelves set up soon but I don't know when that'll be but for right now this is the angle that I'm going with but yeah I have 10 books to talk about not um, five and like in the thumbnail I didn't want to carry the gigantic stack of books with me being pregnant and I'm limited to how much I can carry and I'm pretty sure it'll be heavy if I hold 10 books but anyways let's get to my November TBR so the first few books I'm going to be talking about sequels that I want to get to in November. The first one is Two Dark Reigns by Kendar Blake. This is the third book in a um, Three Dark Crowns series. I almost forgot the name of the series there. But if you haven't read the first book, the first book is about three sisters who are triplets and they were raised in separate islands and each of them have different powers and they're basically fighting to the death when they come of age to become queens. So I like this series so far and I do hope that I like the third one as much as the previous two books, um, but yeah, I know I want to to read the third book, and I just haven't gotten to them, got to it yet. So, so yeah, this is gonna be one of my top priorities for November. So the next book that I want to read in November is the Camelot Betrayal by Kirsten White. This is the second book in the Gwen of Ears Deception series, and if you haven't read the first book. The first book is a King Arthur read telling told from Guinevere's Deception, except she's a um, changeling, I think that's what she is in this one. I can't remember. Yeah, she's a changeling. So, yeah. And I really enjoyed the first book so much that I want to continue on with the series. I did start this, but I just didn't have to because I wasn't in the mood for it at the time. So, hopefully, I'll be in a mood for it for this month since I'm trying to catch up on some of the sequels that I have on my TBR. And the next sequel that I want to read in November is Disney and Shadows by um, Ridley Pearson. This is the third book in the Kingdom Keeper series. If you don't know what the series is about, it's about a group of kids who are like quote unquote protectors of um, Disney World and, and I just love this series so much that I want to continue on with the series and I know they came out with the new covers but I honestly don't care at this point because I know that I really enjoy the first two books in the series, so yeah, and it and it just makes me miss Disney World so much, but I also enjoy it makes me imagine myself back there again, so yeah, I'm just really excited to continue on with this series. And the next book that I want to read in November is The Queen Will Portray You by Sarah Henning. This is the second book in the Kingdoms of Sand and Sky series, and if you haven't read the first book, the first book is... It's basically a Princess Bride retelling, except um, Buttercup saves like Wesley, that kind of um, storyline. And I really enjoyed the first book so much that I want to continue on with the series. I know the third book came out a couple of years ago, and I'm trying to um, catch up on this series because I enjoyed the first book so much. And I do like Sarah Henning's uh, writing, even though I did like um, Throw Like a Boy by her, but I didn't like it as much as her fancy books, but yeah, I'm just excited to continue on with the series, and hopefully I'll get to this some sooner than later. 
and it last sequel on my TBR and it's my one of my most anticipated releases of the year and I want to get to this as soon as possible which is The Darkness Between uh, Within Us by Trisha Levenseller. This is a sequel to The Shadows Between Us. If you haven't read the first book, the first book's about a girl who's trying to woo the Shadow King to let trick him to marry him and then uh, murder him and take over his kingdom but then she finds out that someone else is also has the same goal and I know I think this one is like tells a um with a different character's perspective I think I don't know but I remember reading the uh the shows between us like during my honeymoon and I like I did a little bit of reading there and I just couldn't put it down and I'm like I want to know what happens next and I just really love the book so much that I really want to read uh, and continue on with a series that, and I do hope I like The Darkness Within Us as much as uh, The Shadows Between Us. <laughs> and the next book that I want to read in November is, and I know it's out of the spooky season, but I do want to read this sooner than later, which is Lake's Edge by Lindell Clipstone. This book's just re really reminds me, like the cover really reminds me of The Haunted Mansion, right? And, yeah, Disney, but that, that has nothing to do with it. But all I know about it is there's a main character whose brother that's um, practicing like black magic and and that's like forbidden and, and all that. That's all I know about it. I also started this, but I also DNF'd it because I wasn't in the mood for it. But I do want to read this so badly. So I do hope to uh, read this um, in November just so I can catch up on other books on my TBR that I've DNF'd in the past. <laughs> and the next book that I want to read in November, and speaking of which of books that I DNF'd, which is The Seven Years Slip by Ashley Postet, and I know I want to really want to read this. I started this, and I was liking it, but I just wasn't in the mood for it, and I know that she has a book that just came out this year, but I want to read this before I do, and all I know about, all I know about this book is about a woman whose aunt passed away, I think, and, and then she finds a random guy move into her aunt's apartment, and then he's a time traveler. That's all I know about it, and I know I was liking it uh, when I started reading it, but like I mentioned, I just wasn't in the mood for it, so I don't know why I wasn't, but I do hope to get to this before I read um, a novel love story, because I know I really like Ashley Poston's writing, and I loved um, the the the, the rom romantics. I almost forgot the name of the book there, and I do what, and I love that one, and I just know I'm gonna love this one, and hopefully I'll get um get this to, to this as soon as I can. And the next book that I want to read in November is *The Astonishing Color of After* by um, Emily X R Penn. All I know about this book is this our main character. Um, whose mom passed away from suicide and then she's going to Taiwan to meet her grandparents for the first time and she believes that her mom turned into a bird and that's all I know about it. I know that I've heard nothing but good things about it since it first came out and I haven't touched it for some reason but I know I really want to read this be because it just sounds um, I just love um, the um, uh, parent and child relationship in books and I just hope that um, this will be one of my favorite um, books of the year even though it's like chunky but I'm pretty sure like because of a contemporary with a little fancy twist to it I will end up loving it so I just hope that I end up, end up enjoying it like my the other books on my TBR. <laughs> and the next book that I want to like to read in November is Rospetic um, or Res... Static. I'm sorry if I butchered the title, uh, but it's by Laura Thalassa. I'm sorry if I butchered the other's name as well, and it's the first book in the Bargainer series, and I've heard nothing but good things about it since many people on BookTube has been talking about it. All I know about it, it's like a dark fantasy romance between um, our main character who is a... Um, surf it for a demon or something like that? I have no idea, but I know that I've been wanting to try this out since I've heard many people on, book, on BookTube has enjoyed this, and I know that 
I'm gonna need a lot of romances on my TBR in case I get in a rain slump, so hopefully I end up enjoying this, because like I said, I've heard nothing but good things about it, so I do have high hopes for this one, because I know like some romances help me get out of a rain slump. And the last book that I would like to read in November is The Drowned Woods by Emily Lloyd-Jones. All I know about it, I think it's a like a companion novel to The Bone Houses, if I remember correctly, and I know that on the third book that's also a companion novel that just came out this year is also takes place in the same world as The Bone Houses. That's all I know about it, but I do want to uh, try this out, and I know that I liked The Bone Houses so much, so I want to try this one out and hopefully I end up enjoying it and yeah and it and I do like um a lot of books that stand in the same world and stuff like that so yeah I do hope to get to this one sooner than later like my the other books on my November TBR. So that is all for my November TBR. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what books that you're planning on reading in November because I'd like to know. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you'll be notified if I ever post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreach, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!